What's up guys, Asian here again with another Build Basics video and today we're going to be talking about 5-piece effects um, and basically how they kind of uh, work together, how you can tell whether one is better than the other, and kind of the math behind it as well. Uh, so we're going to be starting off here with our Magic of Sorcerer and we're going to be talking about Netch's Touch, um, specifically comparing that to Giuliano's. However, this sort of math can be applied to pretty much any sort of 5-piece effect on the stamina side of things or uh, and on the magicka side of things as well. Um, typically speaking, uh, what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be looking at the five piece effect and comparing that with the five piece effect of either Giuliano's or Hunting's Rage. Uh, so why are we picking Giuliano's and Hunting's Rage? Um, that's mainly because um, one, they're easy to get. Uh, they're all they're both crafted sets, so they're pretty straightforward, easy to get. But the second reason is because the five piece effect is a flat boost to spell damage. So you can see here when Julianus is completely golded out, it adds 299 spell damage. Uh, the same thing with Hunting's Rage, except obviously it is weapon damage, so basically change all of these bonuses to um, weapon crit and max stamina and weapon damage, and that's basically uh, Hunting's Rage. So what basically what uh, a lot of people do um, is when you're comparing 5-piece effect, are look at the 5-piece and do a little bit of math and compare it to Juliano. So if we take a look at... Natchez touch here, um, we can see that just looking at the five piece, so we're not considering the two, three, and four piece, uh, which are also pretty important um, factors to consider when you're looking at different sets. Uh, but that's kind of basically what I covered in the damage calculation videos, uh, where you can basically use the differences here, and you know, assuming that everything else stays constant, you can kind of figure out how they uh, compare with each other that way. Uh, so that's a completely different set of mathematics involved. But you can see here that Netch's Touch, looking at the 5 piece, it adds 400 spell damage to your shock damage abilities. So that's pretty important to take note of, that it only affects your shock damage abilities. And so therefore, the 400 spell damage, while it is much larger than the Giuliano's uh, spell damage boost by about 33%, um, it only affects shock damage, so it's not going to necessarily affect all sources of damage that you're doing. So, in order to figure out whether a 5-piece effect is better than Giuliano's or Hunting's Rage, uh, basically what you want to do is you want to take uh, the Giuliano's or Hunting's Rage effect, so in this case 299, then you divide it by the spell damage that the other set that you're looking at gives you, so 400. So 299 divided by 400 gives us approximately 74-75%. Um, so when we, once we have that number, then we can say, okay, that number is the uh, basically the percentage of damage that needs to come from shock damage or flame damage if you're looking at Silks of the Sun, uh, frost damage if you're looking at Yuse Grimoires, physical damage if you're looking at automatons. Um, that's the percentage amount of damage that I need to deal in order to match. Giuliano's spell damage boost. Of course, again, this is ignoring two, three, four piece bonuses. This is just comparing five piece bonuses. So, Netch's touch, I would need to deal about 74 to 75% of my damage needs to come from shock damage abilities, so light attacks, heavy attacks, any sort of abilities that I'm using, um, in order to uh, basically justify using Netch's touch over Giuliano's. Uh, so if I'm dealing like, let's say, 70% damage, shock damage, um, then Julianos is going to win out over Netch's Touch. If I'm dealing 80% shock damage, then Netch's Touch will beat out Julianos when we're looking at the 5-piece bonus effects. So this is pretty important to take note of, uh, and if you're on PC, you're able to take uh, figure out what percentage of your damage is coming from which sources. Uh, so I have a couple of saved parses here, so if we take a look at... This is just a very quick parse that I did for uh, a guild. So under comment metric, this is for um, Magicka DPS. Shock damage is going to be highlighted, going to be, uh, the text is going to be yellow. You can see here, uh, this is all shock damage. Magic damage is going to kind of be this grayish blue, so Haunting Curse, Crystal Frags. Fiery damage, uh, fire damage, that's going to be in red. And then uh, frost damage is going to be in this uh, very light blue. Uh, so we can see here magic is a darker blue and frost damage is kind of a lighter blue. So basically what you want to do on PC at least, it's going to be really hard for to judge on console because you guys don't have access to something like combat metrics that breaks down your parse like this. Uh, 
basically what you're going to want to do uh, so if I want to say look at whether or not uh, Netch is better than Giuliano's on this specific build basically what I do is I just add up these percentages so 18.2 13.4 10.1 so on and so forth if I add all these numbers up and my total is 75% or higher then I know it's worth using Netch's touch over Giuliano's at least for the five piece and from there I can basically say okay uh, go on to UESP's build editor make a build with Giuliano's make a build with Netch's touch and then you know compare the um, the effective weapon uh, effective spell power that I'm getting out of both of those sets taking into consideration you know the average shock damage that I'm getting so if I'm getting like 80% shock damage instead of adding 400 I would basically add a 80% of four, 400 uh, to the calculations there um, and then basically compare the sets that way uh, so that's basically how you would determine whether or not a specific sets five piece bonus is better than Giuliano's or Hunting's Rage uh, now for stamina DPS um, swap over to my Nightblade parse for so underneath uh, stamina DPS because you guys have different sources of damage this is kind of how it breaks it down so physical damage is just white damage and this hail raise of caltrops my light attacks you can see there disease damage is this sort of uh, pinkish color here so killer's blade assassin's scourge veladreth those are all disease damage and my poison damage is going to be green so you can see your poison injection my poison enchant and my uh, my uh, poisons on my bow bar. These are all green. Uh, so that is how you can determine how much of your damage is coming from physical damage. So, for example, if you want to compare, let's say, automatons and um, hundings, you still need to beat, I believe it is 70, 70%. I want to say automaton increases damage by f uh, 450, but it might be 400. So, uh, if you're dealing like 75% of your damage uh, is coming from physical sources, then automatons will be equal to hunting's rage. And then from there, you just do the exact same thing, make one set with Hundings, one set with Automatons, um, figure out, basically multiply the five piece by the percentage physical damage you have, and then compare numbers that way using the damage calculation formula that I have in the damage calculations video. Um, and so that's basically more or less how you can determine whether or not some uh, sets are worth using. So for example, I think it's Sword Singer or Sword Dancer. There are two sets that improve the damage done by um, dual wield abilities and two-hander abilities. And it's I believe it's still 400. So if you do the math, um, you would still need to deal 75% of your damage from dual wield abilities in order for that set to beat Hunting's Rage. Now if we just take a look at uh, the Nightblade parts here, you'll see that our dual wield abilities are actually pretty low on the list here. So Blood Craze, um, Blade Cloak, uh, I think Twin Blade and Blunt is considered a dual wield ability here. Uh, there's, the, there's the first tick of Blood Craze, the initial hit. So I can see here that uh, that set that increases damage done by dual wield abilities isn't that great. Uh, Hunting is going to beat it by and far 100% of the time. Uh, and that's just basically because, you know, you need to deal 75% of your damage from dual wield abilities. Endless Hail and Caltrops alone make up 25% of my DPS. So, you know, it's impossible for that dual wield set uh, to beat out Hunting's Rage. And you have the exact same thing over on the Magic DPS side. Spider Cultist increases damage done by your dest Destruction Staff abilities uh, by 400. So 75% of your damage needs to come from Destruction Staff abilities. Now, that has the advantage that uh, the Light and Heavy attacks from your Destruction Staff does count as Destruction Staff abilities. Um, and same thing here for uh, dual wields. Your Light attacks and Heavy attacks on your dual wield bar count as uh, light uh, dual wield abilities, I believe. Um, so Spider Cultist is a, kind of the exact same thing. So if you take a look at, let's do my Nightblade parse here. So we would need basically 75% uh, of our damage to come from um, my, what's it called, Destruction Staff abilities. So my Light Attacks, Block Aid, uh, Fiery Rage. And you can see here on my Nightblade alone, Assassin's Will and Impale makes up about 22.4% of my DPS. Add in Funnel Health and we're already uh, less than 75% for my Destruction Staff abilities. 
And so therefore, Spider Cultist is not great on Magicka Nightblade. Even if we take a look at our uh, Magicka Sorcerer DPS, you can see here that Liquid Lightning, Haunting Curse, and Crystal Frags combined make up more than 25% of my DPS. Therefore, Spider Cultist on a Magicka Sorcerer, at least this particular build of Magicka Sorcerer, isn't going to be very good either. So that's basically how you can determine whether or not a 5-piece effect beats out Giuliano's or Hunting's, and whether that set is worth considering for use uh, in your, your build setup. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.